Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Edelhell. This one is from Privat Brauerei Stark, located in the town Amberg in Oberpfalz. And um, it comes in this Euro bottle shape, as you can see, called Euro bottle, this thick bottle shape. Uh, of course, I'm continuing my journey to um, trying to uh, taste one beer from each brewery in Bavaria. And this is another one of those very small, very old breweries that uh, Bavaria is having so many of, uh, coming from uh, Amberg and Orbach Falls, as I mentioned, Privatbrauerei Stark. Uh, of course, it has that name because the family owner's name is Stark. That's almost every time the case that the brewery is having the same name as the family. Uh, here you can see the top label, here you see the main label, a quite modernized label, unfortunately. This font is not the, an old font at all, so here's the logo of this um, brewery Privatbrauerei Stark, site 1723. Alcohol content 4.9, alcohol content volume. Reigeringer Edelhell Privatbrauerei Stark, mit Liebe brauen wir unsere Biere nach dem Bayerischen Rheinsgebot von 1516. Mit besten Rohstoffen aus heimischen Anbau. Und traditionellem Brauhandwerk stehen wir seit 1723 für Birgenus im Zeichen des Pandoren. Zutaten Wasserkreis mal zopfen. Privatbrauerei Stark, Hofmark 2, 9222 für Amberg Reigering. Kühl- und Dunkellager und Brauerei Stark, die I ist der Link zu der Website. I'll link to it in the description box below. Here's the back label. Looking like this. Real nice. Uh, quite modern looking as I mentioned, but the brewery is not modern, of course. I don't like modern brews at all. Uh, but of course this one has just modernized their label, which I'm not, I don't think that's good. But it's their choice. The brewery is old, that's important thing. So that's why I'm uh, having it here on the channel. All the old breweries, in my opinion, uh, that's what I'm interested in, the old uh, tradition, historical point of view, that feeling, that's what I want to have when I enjoy a beer. The same beer that many generations before has been enjoying, that's why I'm only interested in German breweries and German beers. Anyway, let's open up the bottle. And pour it up, of course. Always right time for uh, Edelhell from Mobile Pfalz, in my opinion. Really, really nice beer style. Pour it up into the forward beer style, well fitting glass. Always important to use the right type of glass for the beer style that you're enjoying. In this case, I think this glass fits really nice with that. As you can see, nice thick white foam crown, uh, which is important to build up, of course. It unleashes the right aromas from the ingredients of the hops. Uh, it also locks the right taste in the glass. Uh, so try to maintain the foam all the way through while you enjoy the beer. Um, what more to say? Thick white foam crown, of course, is a quality sign which also bubbles rising up is looking real nice golden color of it just which it should be on the spare style Edelhell which is quite typical for the region uh, let's get the aroma real fresh this is how I want an Edelhell from this region high expectations of course I'm looking forward to a beer from this brewery a lot so I'm really glad that I finally got it and that it was this one the most so long so let's give it a try Brauerei Stark from Amberg, Edelhull, Post. Yeah, nice, of course. Tasty, mild, refreshing, just the way I want an Edelhull. Really easy to drink, really, really nice, and really easy to enjoy. I understand why. It this is popular and I really hope that this brewery is going to survive also. I know many small breweries of course in Bavaria is having a really hard time surviving and that's not strange because the time is changing and it's changing quite fast lately. For example this brewery has been existing since uh, 1723 and um, customers of course the world is more, being more global Customers tend to go to bigger towns, um, bigger breweries is uh, many times buying up the smaller ones and uh, taking over them and 
and uh, things like that. So really, the small ones are having a very hard time because it takes a lot of time to brew beer and uh, very, very hard to make it economically positive to, to do that in these days. So uh, that not strange that the small ones is having a very hard time to survive. Many ones is closing down each year in Bavaria. That's very, very sad because these breweries is uh, buildings is quite big so it, of course it takes a lot of money to keep them alive with all the costs but how to get money for it well you have to sell lots of beers to the locals and that's quite hard um, the pandemic of course did it make it even harder I don't know how many of that were closing down during that it was of course quite many but this one is really really nice <coughs> And um, I want to mention that, of course, this is my interest. I'm um, during my days doing research, reading, uh, and uh, looking at pictures of these old breweries in Bavaria, um, and reading about them. And my channel, the purpose of it is to um, get attention to the breweries that deserve it, like this one. Small breweries that is um, has been staying in the ways that was before, and uh, in many times doesn't even have a website. So I want to help them and put attention to them. But anyway, you need to visit the town to visit the brewery to buy uh, beers from the brewery. Often they only sell from their own brewery during some special times. Which of course also adds to that it's impossible to survive almost. But so that's sad. And of course, I shouldn't forget to mention that I got this one from my friend Ulrich from Germany who did send it to me. He's one of the few ones who's still visiting breweries uh, and sending them to me that I'm, I'm looking for. There are many ones. I appreciate that really, really much. But that's it for now, see you in the next beer review.